Want to generate stunning images and videos by just providing text prompt? Introducing detailed tutorials of top two free AI visual generating tools. The best AI image generative platform is Adobe Firefly. In this video, you will explore all the features of Adobe Firefly starting from text to image generator, dive into the unique techniques of generative fill, create stunning text effects, use generative recoloring for vector graphics, and even edit images with AI along with other tips and tricks. By the end of this course, you'll have a complete knowledge of Adobe Firefly and you'll create content like pro. Let's jump right into the Firefly website and first thing first, you will need to sign up. You can sign in using Facebook, Google, or Apple ID and can also create new account. Input your details and create a new account. This is your home screen and we will currently focus on text to image generator. Here you can see a collection of images generated by other users. If you hover over any image, the original text prompt used to create it will appear, giving you insight into how each result was generated. Now you have two options. You can either create a new image by entering your own prompt, or if you like any image from here and want to make some adjustments, you can easily modify it using the generative fill tool. We'll start by generating our own image. Type in your prompt, for example, a tiger playing the guitar in the jungle on a sunny day. You'll see that Firefly instantly generates four variations based on the prompt. Each image is unique and attractive. Let's say you want more detail. You can add specific elements like with reflections in water and Firefly will adapt the image accordingly. Let us regenerate images. Wow, impressive. Now on the right sidebar, we have some more settings which do the real magic. First, you have the option to choose Firefly version. Firefly 1 and 2 were the previous versions. Firefly 3 is the newest and way more powerful than Firefly 1 and 2. You can choose your required aspect ratio size from landscape, portrait, square, and widescreen. Next, you can select the content type. If it's set to auto, it's going to decide on its own. Currently, it's set to art. That's why these images look like cartoon style. But if you want the image to look realistic, then change it to photo. And it will be added at the bottom of the prompt. Now, if you're into lighting and composition, Firefly lets you adjust these settings too. You can add any reference image to match the depths. I am liking this image, but for your understanding, let's give Firefly some reference and see the results. Now the photo type has the visual intensity option. If I increase the visual intensity and hit generate, these images looks like graphical art or highly edited images. And if I decrease the visual intensity, hit generate. These are realistic looking images, but they look low quality so you can increase or decrease the visual intensity as per your need, but I'll just keep it in the middle. And as you know, Firefly keeps the record of the generated images. It's quickly gonna give me previously generated images. You can add reference image over here as well. Similarly, you can also adjust the strength of the image just by a click. That's not it. Firefly also allows you to apply multiple effects on the same image. You can test and try different effects and select which better suits your image. I want this image to be realistic. And if you're into lighting also, then Firefly lets you adjust these settings too. You can select different lighting types like soft lighting or studio lighting, multi-toned or cool toned, and even adjust the camera angles like shot from front. This level of control really sets Firefly apart, allowing you to create exactly what you envision with just a few clicks. This image looks great, but imagine if we added a fish jumping in the water. With Adobe Firefly's powerful generative fill feature, you can easily enhance your image by adding new elements through simple text prompts. Let's go ahead and add a fish in the water to this scene and adjust its placement. Generative fill give us four different options. You can even check more options as well. I am keeping this one. I am extending the workspace to landscape. What if I expand the image to widescreen? Let's see the results. Yes. Now the image looks perfect and complete. Adobe Firefly is just amazing. But just to explore more options, let's remove the background of the picture. No, it's not realistic at all. Let's not keep it and reset our picture. As the picture looks complete, let's download it. Here is our generated image and it's absolutely high quality, high resolution image. Let's explore generative fill more. What if we generate a faceless picture of a man working in his studio, and then we can reuse this image, a thumbnail, anywhere? Here, your focus should be on the detailing of text prompt. 
friendly looking male business character who is wearing a mask and a yellow hoodie and sunglasses. He is sitting behind his laptop in his office, arms on his desk. There is a stack of books on the table and a plant in the corner of the room. A good quality table mic is also set up on the desk. It is a sunny day. The room has volumetric lighting. He is front facing to the camera, looking stretched and centered. There is another camera set up for the recording. The overall ambience of the image should convey a connection to minimalism. 8K resolution. Our prompt is complete. Now hit generate. These are the art images. Change the content type to photo and expand the aspect ratio to widescreen. Yeah, better, but something is missing. I am applying little changes to the prompt to get the desired result. And after different tests and tries, these two images I am liking the most. What if I change the command to a funky AI cowboy character and maybe we will use this AI generated picture later as a thumbnail of our this video as well. Change the command to a funky cowboy getup. We will define the dressing and look in detail. Now hit generate. Wow, all of the pictures are funky enough, but I think this one better suits our thumbnail. Click on upscale to enhance the picture quality and click on edit and then on social media post. Generative Fill will redirect you to Adobe Express, another amazing tool of Adobe. This is your Adobe Express interface. Now we will create a thumbnail for YouTube video from this picture. To highlight that it's a thumbnail of an AI video, I will first click on elements and add a circle. Resize it accordingly by dragging the cursor and then click on text and type AI and bold it. Place the circle and text at the center of the laptop. Now to make the picture more attractive, I will add some tagline like level up your content with AI. Let's add a rectangle from the elements and change its color to use as the background for our text. I will divide the tagline into four parts. So I will add four rectangles in contrast colors for more attraction. You will have to image your own style and design accordingly. I am tilting the rectangles on an angle of 343 degrees. Cool. Let me add the text over it. Change the colors and font of the text. And that said, great. Now, as the video is about Adobe Firefly and Adobe Express, so I will upload the PNG icons of both the tools and add it on our thumbnail. Now, this thumbnail has a curiosity factor and as well as educate the viewer about the video as well. But let me change the color and angle of our tagline as per the background. Blue and white is better. Yeah, now simply download it and it's that easy. Looks perfect. I believe we've gained enough knowledge in generating prompts for generative fill and leveraging all its features effectively. Now let's delve into how we can modify and reuse images from the Adobe Firefly Gallery. Start by clicking on the gallery where you'll find hundreds of available images. When you hover over an image, the original text prompt used to create it will appear. This prompt can be edited and reused to customize the image further. For example, what if the color of the shoes in this image will be yellow? Or what if the girl in this picture will be facing the camera? Let's apply these changes to each image one by one and see the results. First, let's change the color of this shoes to yellow. Click on the picture to start editing. So it's the prompt for this white shoes with black background. Let's change the color of the shoes to yellow and regenerate the prompt. And here we go, generate fill. Give us four different options. I am upscale this pictures to enhance the quality. Yeah, great, but what if the shoes is in red color? I am regenerating the picture with red shoes. All right, here we go again. Let me upscale this image again. Great, and what if the shoes will be black and background will be white? I am regenerating, and here it is. The history of all the images is stored within the Firefly, and that is how you can change the colors of any picture. Now let's modify another picture. This one, click on the picture, and here is the prompt someone uses to generate this image. I want the woman to towards the camera. I am applying the changes and regenerating the picture. Firefly give us four different options. Let's upscale this one and check. Perfect. What if I expand the picture to widescreen and regenerate the prompt? All right. Widescreen is just okay. 
I am testing more by changing the art to photo and regenerating it again. A big no. I am changing the picture back to art and portrait mode. Hit regenerate. Yes, now it's better. That's how you can test and try different prompts and settings and get your desired result. I am curious, what if the girl's hair would be red? Maybe it will look gorgeous. Let's try the prompt with red hairs and regenerate the picture. Wow, amazing. Isn't it great? Adobe Firefly's generative fill is truly remarkable. Super easy to use and completely free for all the examples I've shared. You can create and edit virtually anything with this powerful tool. Let me know in the comments if you now fully understand how to use generative fill or if you'd like more detailed explanations. If you're interested in learning about other free AI tools for content creation, be sure to check out the video linked above. To summarize, Adobe is a comprehensive platform for all types of visual generation. Whether you're generating and editing images or creating videos, Adobe has you covered. And once again, Generative Fill stands out as an exceptional feature. In our next video, we'll dive into another powerful tool specifically for visual content creation. This will be part two of this series. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Thank you, and we'll catch you in the next one.